Hey guys, Malin here and welcome in this new video. So this time we will talk about the 12 week year. I have designed a full Notion template for this and I have added everything you need from your goals, tactics, visualization and everything else. So let's start with the with me first. So as you may read already in the 12 week year book, you will have to start with the visualization so you have to connect emotionally with your vision so um, you will write down in the present tense uh, your vision what you want to accomplish at the end of the 12 week period and you will have to connect emotionally with it it's how you will fully commit it to your goals so i have designed this visualization page with all the rules you have to follow here and the key takeaway with the visualization part is to put you like your future self in three months and write down how you feel, how you will like be proud of you, how you will feel accomplished at the end and how it will have a huge impact in your life, in your like prof professional part, personal part business part, financial part, in everything you have to put down in the visualization, something that really matter for you. So you will write it here in the Q1 or Q2 or Q3, whenever you will be watching this video. So this exercise can be a bit hard to do when you are not used to. So I will advise you to take maybe 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, and come back anytime as you want to update your vision, to add everything you need to like accomplish your goal. And you will have to come back each morning, read it again, and it will like set up your mood for the day and help you to get focused on what you have to accomplish to reach this vision. So once done, let's go back here to your dashboard. And the second step will be to identify the key specific and measurable goals to reach your vision. So there is no secret here. If you want to accomplish something, you will have to take action. There is no other way around to accomplish this. If you don't take action, you won't achieve your vision and any goals in your life. So you must determine the most critical goals to focus on. And so, for example, it will be like gain 10 new clients within 6 weeks or lose 5 kilograms in 12 weeks. So you have to be highly specific and you have to understand being on social media is totally different from like posting one post per week or being really precise on how many DMs you will send or how many calories you will take to lose weight. So for this, um, the writer of the book uh, will call it like goals and it will provide you a direction and destination for all your efforts and what you want to accomplish. So for this, you will have to add it in the goals. So I have already added some uh, example to help you to understand how the template is working itself. So if you want to add a new goal, just simply click new here. And then let's say you want to save $1,000. The area will be finance. And also with this, I have automatically uh, added a system to track your progress. So there is some uh, properties. You don't have to take care of it. And you will also have to link the quarter here. So let's say it's for Q1, click here. And all the tactics you will have to also add. So this could be um, open a saving account. It could be up. It could be also saving 20 bucks per week. 
You see how precise I'm here again in the tactic. I will not like saying save some money per week, but 20. And once done, you can go back here. And I have so I'm a bit uh, in advance on the things you have to do. But I, as I told you, you have to plan your tactics. So you can either done them in the goals section here. Or if you want to, you can just like go back in tactics here. And so create a new one. So if we take the example of saving $1,000 at the end of the 12 week, this can be stop going at, no, stop ordering about it. And here, as you see, I have made a mistake because you have to write all your tactics in a positive way. So stop ordering is not a good thing, but cooking delicious meal instead of ordering Uber Eats. So the area is health, but in this case it's not because you want to save money, so it will be finance. So this time for the date, because we are in Q1, you can select January the 1st and the end date March 31. And you will link it to the goal save $1,000 at this tactic, um, how many times you want to repeat it in your week. So it could be like daily, weekly, monthly, or any things you want. You just have to add it your option. So for my example, it would be daily. And an example of task could be cooking my own meal. To bring it at work. And if we go back here, so um, you have to also in this system in the 12 week here, like to prioritize your tasks and you have to like organize yourself to do firstly the task that will bring you the maximum impact in your day and will have the most important signification to realize your vision. Of course, like in my case, if I want to reach 10k per month, I will not do the same task as someone want to reach 1k per month and uh, reorganizing my Mac or my system in my emails or these kind of things is not what will bring me like the most results. So I have to do the difficult task, the most challenging one at the beginning of my day. Plus you will see at the end of the day how you will feel like I accomplished because you have like checked this task first. And it's about all the compounding effects. So even if it's like, I don't know, writing a newsletter, if it takes you uh, even like 30 minutes to one hour to write one, and if you don't see the immediate results, always think about your vision. It will help you to keep going. And with the compound effect, the more you will do, the more you will receive at the end. I think it's the key to understand the 12 week year. And it's how you will get the maximum results at some point so you have to be patient and you have to keep repeating yourself in the task you do and that's why this notion template of the 12 week year is so important to track your progress and record your like journey to you. and you will see when you review it from weekly point of view or even at the end of the day you will see how many things you will accomplished and it's so fulfilling. You will can't like feel guilty to take a day off sometimes. So I think it's really important for you to like keep this dashboard open and keep tracking your effort. And that's the whole point of establishing accountability. 
and it's how you will track and measure, measure your progress. So as I told you, I have set up something automatically in Notion to like track your record here. So each time you will check a boxes, like in your task here, you can just check here and it will automatically populate here. So this way you don't have to like focus too much about the tracking effort. You just have to check and review it once per week, as I told you, to see what has what has sorry, what I've been working for you and what haven't. This way you can like plan better your next week and maybe remove some task that is like useless for you and don't have like the maximum results to like really focus on what truly matter to which all of your goal here. So if we go back here, you can also add a cover because I have just set up it like really quickly. It's not really great. So if you want to something aesthetic, you can just add an icon. So I like to use the Notion once. So um, let's search for something. And you can also add a cover. So in my case, I'm just using the one of and splash, but you can create your own and upload it. You can do it with Canva, for example. And then here, so as you can see, I have in a gallery with you all the ta tactics you have to follow to reach your goals. And again, so you have the progress tracker here. And for the task, which is, I think, the most important part, in your day-to-day -day routine. I have set up a button here. So I am in a small screen, but as you can see here, and you can edit it to automatically like pop, pop up your recurring task in your day. So for this example, it could be like publishing one post. So you will have to set up the date, link it to your goals and link into your tactic and do it as much as you want. And let's say you want to add another one. You can just click on add another step, add a page to, you select the database uh, tasks. Then let's say it will be like cooking my dinner, then edit the dates to today, edit the tactics, it will be like cooking delicious meal. And the goals is save $1,000. And that's it. Once done, you just click here and poop. You have all your tasks here and just you just have to do it. And as you can see, maybe I have forgot like to add a little nice icon, but you can still doing in the page directly. So if I go in icons, mail, and voila. <laughs> and here at the end, you have the quarter. So Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So you can just edit the date range here and link it to anything you want to. And Please don't go in the database section here. If you touch or delete something, it can break the whole Notion that templates. So um, that's it for the 12 week here Notion templates. I hope you will enjoy it. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the videos, and I can't wait to share my next video with you. See you guys.